Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder, IFL TV, in association with Matt Clinch, Jim Marbao. I'm on the road at the moment. With me, I've got British and WBO European champion Bradley Skeet, aka Man Skeet. What's happening, Brad? You all right? All good, Jay. Yeah, mate. Good. good. What's Starting happening? About five week out and about, dropping some tickets. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah, man. Just relaxing, getting ready for Friday. People think when you get to sort of British European level that you don't have the the urgency to do tickets. Is that is that still not the case for yourself? Nah. Do you know what? Like. I'm all from day dot. I've always done my tickets. Like, obviously, it's not like a, a, a push to like do them, but they do the self. You know, I've always had good support, and like, it's I'm just me. Like, like people who's come support me from the start. If they, if now I'm coming British and like up the levels now of not dropping off tickets, so I'd always drop off tickets. Even when I'm fighting for world titles, people, I'd be dropping off tickets. So. Yeah, man, just that's, that's what I do. Back in action this Friday in Brentwood, top of the bill on Box Nation. Good for you to sort of start headlining these sort of cards. I know you were sort of drawn in, drafted in quite late in terms yeah. of, of what you'd really like and stuff. But talk to me firstly about the fight. You're in action against John Fain. Yeah. From Scotland. Talk to me about this contest. Yeah, good fight. Um, I was I was on the Cardiff show on the day after on the 26th. Well, suppose well. Originally, I was fighting in October um, up in Cardiff. That got called off, and then it got rescheduled for the 26th. And then I had the opportunity to top the bill in Brentwood, so a lot closer to home. Um, so yeah, I decided to obviously top the bill in Brentwood and and fight my mandatory Shane Singer, and he pulled out the fight. So now I'm fighting John Fain, like you say. Um, a good fight, a good fighter. His last fight, he won an eliminator to fight to fight me. So um, yeah, he stepped in, and and I've got a job to do Friday now against Fane. What do you know about John Fane? How much have you seen of John Fane? Um, to be honest, I've not really seen seen much of him. I seen his last fight when he when he boxed for the eliminator. Um, that was a good performance. Um, I, he's a nice boxer. He's obviously tall like myself, so it brings that element into it where. Obviously, fighting a tall fight, I've not really done that in my career yet, so uh, it, it, that, that, that's something I have to deal with. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting a good fight. Like he's he's coming to fight to win the British title, so it mean it mean means a, a lot for him to do that. So yeah, but it's like me, I'm defending my belt. Now it's my first defence. Um, I made it quite clear I want to win the, win the title outright, so I need to make three successful defences. So. I'll be I'll be putting on a good fight on Friday. If you are successful on Friday, you mentioned the need to sort of want to defend this belt before you yeah. look on. We saw Tamuka Mucha in action the other day. Yeah. On in the Channel Five card, good win for him against Paddy Gallagher. Yeah. He he's quite vocal with the fact as well that he wants. Do you see that he as is. a future matchup down the line? He is. He is. Yeah. Um, well, he 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 come to Birmingham. I didn't even know he was there until I watched your video. But he apparently, yeah, he come to come up to Birmingham to see me beat beat Sam Egerton for the belt. Um, he said that I've been on his radar. So, but to be honest, like he's a good fighter. But if the way he says he, he's he, he's got the beating of me, but the way he boxed Saturday, yeah, it was a good fight. But he needs to come with something different than that to beat me and take my belt. But uh, it, like I say, he's, he's he, that was an eliminator as well. So he, if He's getting himself in the position to to fight, so yeah, why not? That's a that's a fight for me. I'd take I'd take that fight. Um, to be honest, me at British level, I think like there's levels boxing, there's levels, and no disrespect to them, but I think British level, I'm a level above the domestic fighters at British level. So uh, all of them, all of them, I'm uh, I'm ready for. To be honest, I'm I'm more than ready for all of them. So, like I say, I've got the belt now. Every single one of them is going to be calling my name and shouting my name. But uh, yeah, just I'll just just line them up and I'll pick them off one by one and, until I win the belt outright. You're ranked pretty highly in the governing bodies now. We've seen your your fourth, fourth, fifth with the WBO. Yeah. Fourth with the IBF. Yeah, yeah. Moving 
really fast at the moment. Getting, rapid, yourself, yeah. getting yourself right up there in the rankings. Do you feel it's, it's essential that you have them fights at British and European level before you sort of challenge for world honours? Definitely. Like I say, when I, I get get these like texts and that from the guys from like, the office and that saying, oh, you've been moved up again, you've been moved up again. And uh, I look at it and think, wow, this, this like, by next year, they're saying I could be fighting for like, potentially fighting for a world title so but first things first I'm the British champion I've got three fights ahead of me at British level there to, to win it outright that's what I want to do so I'll be winning it outright so that's three fights there then I'll be I'd like a, a meaningful fight at world level like a good name on my on my record at world level so so I can mix in that class and then and then step up and fight for world level so yeah maybe the end of next year if everything goes well and I'm winning I'm getting these good fights um, why not why not fight for world title so in terms of a big name we're talking about sort of an ex world champion someone yeah. who's who's really a credible opponent yeah so you're looking at someone like maybe I don't know, Bundu, maybe Malinaji. Yeah, exactly, them names there, caliber. definitely. With, without that, them two names there would be perfect for me. Um, the Malinaji fight would be a great fight. I know I know. Uh, he, he likes coming over here. And uh, he, I think, I, I don't know if he's re retired or not yet. He, he's, he had a fight, didn't he? So I think... Yeah, he fought he, for yeah. the, the European title. Yeah, I so Italy. I think uh, if he's active and he's there, Frank's just done this deal now with BT so that's massive that's a big massive exposure so maybe we could get him over here that'd be a, that'd be a great fight the likes of like you say the likes of Bundu as well he, he's mixed at world level he's been European champion he's got some good good wins on his record why not that's that's a fight I'd love to take too so yeah but first things first get this British out right then then start looking at fights like that you mentioned promoter Frank Warren has signed the BT Sport contract the link up with Box Nation that has been highly anticipated. What does it mean to you as a fighter? What difference will this make to your career? It's massive. I think the exposure is one of them. That's 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 the thing. That's the main thing. In, in boxing, you don't like no disrespect to the others, but for for TV, it's either Frank Warren or Eddie Hearn. It's either Box Nation or there's there's Sky like on Matchroom. Um, so if that that's a, that's what you're looking at. But now everyone. Everyone was I'm and ah about Box Nation and you don't get the exposure, this, that and the other, but now BT Sports involved, then there's no doubt about it. We'll be getting pushed and we'll be getting the exposure now. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I've just signed a new deal with Frank as well, so that, that that's all good and it's, it's onwards and upwards now. You've fought your whole career on Box Nation yeah. and with Frank. It's sort of a, it's becoming a rare thing to stick with one, one sort of promoter or yeah. network due to the course of your career, both here and America. Yeah. Do you, do you feel you'll, you'll sort of be with Frank and Box Nation for, for your whole career? I can see it, yeah, I can see it. I started with Frank and I started with, with like, right from the, from the bottom, so, so to speak, and he's brought me through. And that's what Frank does. He's got the, the, the skill to bring a fighter from the start to, to world, world, world title level and getting them world champions. So I, I'd like to start and finish my career with Frank and hopefully at the end of it, I can look back and say I'm, I'm a world champion. And, and it's not, like you say, it's, it's, it's not really done now with people who start their career and finish with the same promoter. So I, I'm a loyal person and Frank's done good by me. And uh, I, I'm sure I'll get repaid with a world title fan. You mentioned the start of your career, interesting enough, you made your debut on the same bill as Armit Patterson, yeah. who, who again fights for the British title this weekend, so as well, I'd like to talk a little bit about that fight. Yeah. Interesting matchup in itself, I know Armit's gone up weight since you and him were sort of yeah. rival the sort yeah. of old foes and stuff, but let's talk a little bit about Armit Patterson's British challenge if you don't mind against Liam Williams. Yeah, great fight. Um, he, he was obviously meant to fight for it on the last Cardiff show, but I think he got injured or had to pull out. But um, Gary Corcoran put, put up a good fight, and, and Williams come 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 better with it and uh, got the win, a good win as well. And uh, I think and it's another great fight for for, for Williams fighting Patterson. Um, I wish him all the best. Um, do you know what I? I, I I really rate Williams though. I really rate him. Um, when I've seen him before. Um, I said it to his face, I, I, I went up and spot. he come down and I went up and sparred him and his boxing ability doesn't get credit for. I, everyone just sees him as like a big puncher and, a, and who can have a fight, but he's got great boxing ability and uh, I think he's going to go far. 
Do you think that fight's underrated? That more people should be sort of talking and, and crediting that fight. Yeah, definitely. Like that that fight. Um, obviously, boxing people know about it, but I think it's got the potential to be a great fight. It's great styles there. There's there's like a sort of like clash of styles there. Like mm. fight with Patterson being the boxer sort of thing, and and Williams being like the puncher and 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 he can he can whack like so. Yeah, I think it's a great fight. It's gonna it's gonna be a good night and massive in Wales. Um, Liam does loads of tickets in Wales, so fair play to to Armit going up up to Wales in in his backyard to to, to try and get the belt. I know you've been busy with camp and stuff and everything else, and probably didn't want to stay up till five in the morning to watch <laughs> Covenant Ball because you've been training. But have yeah. you have, have you had a chance to sort of I, to yeah. watch digest any of it? I've watched it now. Yeah, I did. I, I weren't a diehard fan to stay up. <laughs> I don't blame you. You've got a big fight coming. Yeah. up. you can't really be messing up your patterns. Yeah. And sort of but um, no, we uh, I, I caught up on it, and uh, do you know what? I see a lot of hype of, on the internet and saying how oh, it was a robbery, how oh, oh, Kovlev won hands down, this, that, think? and the other. But I went, I went with Wall to be honest. Wall is like Vince, like boxing people would see, but them, them non boxing people just probably see the aggression of Kovlev, obviously, see him drop Wall, see him like putting on the pressure, but it wasn't really like landing. What Wall was landing, Wall was landing crisp, sharp punches, cutting down the ring on the inside. He's work on the inside, whipping in them body shots, and they're all scoring shots. And when you get when you're getting arms, you're getting hitting arms like gloves, and and it's not it's not landing. If you're not landing, you're not scoring. So I, I can't I couldn't see how people was calling it a robbery. Just it was it was it was a close hard fight. That's what it was. It wasn't a robbery. It was a close fight, hard fight. It could have went either way, but I went with Ward. Do you reckon people are wrong just to score aggression for aggression's sake? Where the art of boxing to hit and not to be get hit as, as Ward has certainly perfected, as you mentioned, on the inside as well. That that ferocious body work yeah. he's landing, that single body jab. I know it's only a single shot he's yeah. landing, but it, it's effective. It's stabbing, isn't it? yeah, it's stabbing at the body and and setting up other, other shots from it. That, that that's what it's, that's boxing. That. When you say boxing, that's boxing now, I like it. It's not a fight, it's not always oh, aggressive, coming forward, swinging away. I'm not saying Kovalev was just coming forward, swinging and everything, because he, he, was, he was great at boxing too, but his aggression, you can't waste Scott, because he's coming forward and he's, and he's pressing the fight, doesn't mean you, you're winning the fight. It's, it's, you've got to look at, look at the bigger picture there. Would you like to see an immediate rematch? Usually immediate rematches don't catch people's sort of yeah, imagination, but would you like to see fight, that? fight you can, you can, you can see why there could be an immediate rematch, because it was a close, hard fight, and, it, but always rematches sometimes never live up to, to, to what the first fight was sort of thing, um, but I think that fight would, I think, um, it, I think that fight would live up to, to a, another cracking fight, another good fight, so yeah, I think, where it was so close and there was a bit of controversy with the decision, I think an immediate rematch would, would, sort, would sort it all out. What did you make of Virgil Hunter in the corner? A lot of people said he was quite inspirational after that knockdown yeah. with his words to, 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 to sort of Andre, Andre Ward. What, what did you make of it? Yeah, uh, he, 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 he's the man, isn't he? Virgil don't really get credit he des what he gets to, to get deserved. So, uh, he, 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 in the corner, that inspiration, and you can just see what it means to him as well as he, he wants his fighter to win so bad and uh, I think that that got for him that walled like he he seemed like not he needed that but it, it was like when he was going back to the corner and getting them that, that advice and them them words of wisdom from Virgil it's like it lifted him up he was like when he told him you're the greatest, you're the greatest. Like, yeah, I agree. when you hear things like that in the corner you that's gonna push you in it like, yeah exactly just, just sort of, yeah, yeah it's just like come on Dre come on Dre yeah, like yeah. 20 years though he's well exactly he's developed I, him really as, yeah. as a fighter and as a man he's more of a sort of father figure than he's, that's what I was just about to say he's like a trainer, father really. figure to him mainly so yeah. it, it must be nice to have that bond in the corner definitely do you and Al Smith, aka okay, Fagan, at that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, like, like I say, I've been with Al from the start of my career too. I've known Al from when I was like 10, 11 years old when I started, start, yeah. like, starting my amateur career. Yeah. Um, he, I boxed a few of Al's boys from, from Marvel's Lane. Uh, so Al's known me a long, long time. So I think that's, that's, you've got to have that bond in the corner as well as, as well as, uh, 
as well as that, like in the gym and that in the in the gym in the corner, you got to have that bond definitely. As well as the same haircuts. Yeah, the same hair. <laughs> go to the same bar. After your tickets now, I suppose get yourself ready and you will you yeah. switch off from sort of when do you switch off from doing tickets tomorrow? And worrying about sort of yeah else? Wednesday fighting fighting Friday. So yeah, Wednesday just just like switch off then and and just chill out and then yeah just Thursday weigh in and then yeah fight time on. Huh? Okay. Excited to get back in the ring and defend this British title now. Does it, does it, is it giving you a buzz the fact that you're going to be defending your own style? Yeah, top definitely. Of the I can't wait, Jay. It's winning is one thing, but defending it and keeping it is, is another. So I, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to, to see it again and get my hands on it. And uh, once I have that in the change room and that with me again and I see the belt, uh, uh, no one's taking it off me. Some good fighters coming through as well, as fighters at, uh, at the stage of the career that you was maybe two years ago, two and a half years ago. Yeah. Sort of like the boy Jones Jr. coming through. Yeah. Um, see, see, Sanjeev Singh Sahota, man like Triple S. Yeah. He's on the bill there, as well. There's some great fighters on there. There's a lot of local talent, a lot of boys from Essex on the bill. So yeah. Harley Ben's making his debut. I see that. Yeah. See so that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that one to see. To see See what he's up to and, and how he performs. Yeah. So uh, That's yeah. Been a lot of pressure on him. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna be in it. He's got a name like Ben, and his oh, his dad is. There's 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 a lot of pressure there, yeah. but I think he'll deal with it. I, he seems like a good kid, a good good fighter. So yeah. he's, he's with a good team with Dom Dominic and that. So uh, I think I think he'll do well. Right, we just mentioned all your team and your, your sponsors and everything. Yeah, like once again a massive thank you to the King Group. They they're my full time sponsor. Um, uh, Ringside uh, Dave Hill from Ringside he's giving me a lot of kit, a box fit, obviously sorting out sorting out all my gear. Yusana, um, yeah, thank you. Like I say, for all the help and support and keeps me going. So Brad, thank you very much for giving us some time today. We look forward to seeing you in action on Friday. Cheers, cheers. And, uh, I'll catch you again real soon. Cheers, nice, mate. Nice, mate. Thank you.